Hi everyone, meteorologist Joe Chaffee, ssstormchasing.com, meteorologistjoechaffee.com, weatherlongisland.com. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be splitting the videos in two today, beginning today, so we can focus one on the tropical system and then the other on uh, what's going on uh, with the weather for the rest of this week and into this weekend because of the action on the East Coast. Now, here is our tropical system this morning. We have uh, the visible views. Uh, you can see it's a pretty well-developed wave. It looks like there's some kind of a circulation developing right in here, somewhere between 11 and 12 north and about 53 or 4 west. Uh, it's a little over 300 miles to the east of Barbados and moving on a pretty steady west-northwest course at about uh, 20 miles an hour, or somewhere between west and west-northwest. And uh, the National Hurricane Center is sending an Air Force Reconnaissance aircraft to investigate this afternoon to see what it is that they're going to find. I'm, I'm thinking that if this trend continues, we probably will have a tropical depression before the day is out. Um, sometimes uh, these things can wrap up pretty quickly, and you, who knows, the plane could find a small closed circulation in there and a tropical storm. But we'll leave that to their job. And I want to just show you in perspective to the rest of the, uh, at, at the Atlantic Basin, uh, this is really the one dominant feature, and it is quite a large system here. It remains uh, inside in uh, what appears to be an envelope of deep layer moisture that's uh, along the lower tropics south of 15 degrees north. Uh, there's some drier air to the north and east, and you can kind of pick it out there in a lighter shade of gray. Uh, but uh, it doesn't seem to be getting entrained inside the circulation of this system because we're getting all these, uh, you know, getting all this thunderstorm activity firing up um, without uh, any kind of hesitation, uh, and it's a it's a pretty solid area that's developed there. So whatever's going on here in the atmosphere, there's definitely some sort of protective shield, essentially keeping the dry air uh, from coming into uh, this system. Now we do have uh, some what looks like some southerly winds in the upper atmosphere in the eastern Caribbean, which is usually typical, it usually is um, environment there is not always favorable for um, strengthening. Most times it isn't, but um, models pretty well hold its own as it moves into the eastern Caribbean and then uh, take it to north of Aruba and Curaçao, and from there uh, becomes the big mystery uh, to some degree because uh, models are doing different things depending on speed. Now, here's, here are the spaghetti plots, um, and you can see they, they're all pretty clustered in, uh, very consistent uh, as they move westward through the Eastern Caribbean. It's when they get to uh, just to the north, you know, they get northwest of Curaçao and Aruba that uh, you begin to see uh, a number of models take that sharp right turn, almost a 90 degree angle turn. But not all of them do it. More, more, many more of the models continue to track more west-northwest. So you got this cluster that wants to turn it up, and then a cluster that wants to take it uh, con uh, continually to the west-northwest. And that certainly is a consideration. Uh, the global models want to turn it, and uh, we'll show you uh, what we've been saying for the last number of days. It's this upper low here in the eastern states remains key to all this. Um, and, and this is because we've got, you know, the jet stream that just gets forced all the way south uh, into northern Florida. So, you know, you've got this weakness right about in here. Uh, the ridge at this point in this stage here is strong. Uh, so the, the, the tropical system is still back right in there. So we've got a ways to go before it gets to uh, where it's going to make the turn. But you can uh, see what happens here. And, and actually, it's a little unusual because... You, the, the upper low drops southward and then backs up northward. Uh, it doesn't often happen that way. Uh, you would th think usually they want to progress out to the coast, but when it drops northward, uh, when it starts to lift northward and northeastward, uh, you can see the hole that gets created here. And by the way, we're looking at the European model, which is actually uh, now a, a little further to the left. So um, the upper low in the eastern states, and this is Sunday evening, is still up through here. So here's your weakness in the flow, okay? Uh, it runs up from Cuba right around the periphery of this, uh, the upper high here. And, and here's the tropical system that's going to want to follow that uh, to some degree. I have that arrow probably a little bit too far to the west, but it's not an unrealistic position. 
and you can see what, what it does. It actually, what the model does here is that it lifts out the upper low, then, then we have this upper high that builds in the southeast. Here's the next trough. So now it's responding to this upper high, and it wants to make a hook to the left, and that's what, the, that's what we're seeing here uh, on the European. Okay, so it hooks it to the left across the north coast of Cuba. So it almost wants to take it uh, into the southeastern Gulf. And then you have this next trough here. So the logical move on, on this model would be something like this, where it goes up the west side of Florida. Maybe I'm a little bit too far west, but it, it does move up the west side of Florida and then along the Appalachian Mountains to the northeast. The GFS model is a little different with this, and we're going to switch over to that. Uh, because one of the big uh, differences in this model is speed, okay? And it has an outcome that is, is different because of the fact that it is faster. It gets this system has, uh, winds up reacting to the upper low because it's still in position there, okay? So we're going to follow this along as it moves to the west. So it passes Aruba and Curacao, and then it makes the, the turn northward right in here so now we are at um in terms of the 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 time element here we let me just take a look i want to just make sure i got the right time frame so now we're into sunday afternoon okay and let me just lift it back up okay so we're into sunday afternoon so it, with the faster run uh this system responds to the upper low and the weakness here in the east and winds up where you wind up taking something um whoops Oh, that was actually pretty cool that I could do the zoom, but all right. So, you know, I'm having a problem here. Let me just settle this. Uh, let me just reset the page again. All right. So let's see. Yep. There we go. So it, it, it moves around that periphery of the high and you have that upper low uh, that's pulling it along. Now, over time, what happens is on the GFS, you see that there's still a little bit of troughing here that's left over. Uh, into early next week, you still have some residual troughing. Here's the tr the next trough that comes in from the west. You've got this big ridge that's building right in here, and and here's your system now uh, moving through the Bahamas. Now this particular run of the GFS was further to the left of the prior runs, but it would take this system um, up the east coast now because it's responding to this next deep trough that's out west here okay so then you have this upper flow like this and this uh, system responding to the troughing out to the west and winds up moving uh, north nor northward or north northeastward up the east coast this is all purely in speculation land I want you to know so um, I, I also want you to take a look uh, at this um, because I think it does have some value um, this is a surface map for next Wednesday now again I am not you know this is um, we're, we're now eight, eight, eight and a half days ahead of, in the future. So we know that this is going to uh, be wrong, but I just want to show you the variations of where we've been in the last couple of runs. So here we are on the latest run. Now this was last night's run, much further to the east. Okay, here's the run before that. Whoa, huge difference. Okay, see all of this is because of how, and then we'll go back to 12Z even further east, uh, we'll go back five runs uh, down all, all east of the Bahamas. So you can see where the models come from and where it's going uh, in time through all of this. Um, it is uh, been shifting westward, um, but there are still a lot of variables to consider here. We can't really look at this at this point and make any kind of literal um, prediction. Uh, you saw the difference in the European. The European uh, much slower in, in moving it westward in, in the Caribbean. So the longer it takes to move, to, to move westward and get into the central Caribbean, the better chance it has of missing that trough and taking a track further to the left. So none of this written in stone, folks. We have a long way to go with regards to how this system is going to play out. Uh, so uh, I would suggest that you just... Uh, keep it tuned and all the latest progress that's going on weather-wise. Speaking of which, here's our upper low now in the northern Great Lakes and the trailing cold front that's uh, to the south. And this is what's coming through uh, this morning as we have 
uh, we've had some showers, and that front is going to stall out offshore. Here's the upper low back through here, so this is heading to the southeast. Now, we didn't get a whole lot of rain from this first shot, which is ex was expected. Uh, now, uh, we're going to wait for this uh, to come up, move offshore, and uh, we're going to get a bit of an onshore flow that's going to set up and low pressure that's going to try and develop to the south and pull in some moisture. So that'll be the, and that'll be the game for um, as we move through Thursday into Friday, and we're going to have a separate video that's going to speak to uh, all of that. So uh, don't forget uh, SNS, uh, SS storm SSStormChasing.com, meteorologist Joe and weatherlongisland.com.